Hi ladies and gentlemen, learning Java out there. We're going to cover for loops and we're actually going to cover specifically how to write for loops. So not tracing them and tracing their output but writing for loops from scratch. And we're going to do three things today. We are going to print out uh, odd numbers between 1 and 9. Then we're going to um, output the um, nursery rhyme 10 little monkeys and go from 10 down to 1 and then we're just going to do something simple we're going to repeat um, a statement uh, on the screen for a certain number of times so let's actually start with that one that's the easiest one let's just repeat one of Bart Simpson's uh, chalkboard blackboard quotes that appears at the uh, beginning of um, the Simpsons show so I like this one. There's no proven link between raisins and boogers. So I'm just going to copy that right now. So I don't want to type that up again. And I'm going to create a system dot out dot print line because I wanted to skip a line after I up put this and put that there. And let's drop the font down to something more manageable like uh, 16. All right, there's no proven link between raisins and boogers. So um, if you're wondering, the IDE I'm using is called Blue Jay. It's for free, and it's a very simple, easy to use academic um, IDE. So it's great for learning. Um, one of the key features of uh, Blue Jay is that you don't need to write that string args business right here and you can actually run programs pretty easily. So there's my, um, there's my statement. We know that when we run this program, it's just going to print out the statement once. We want to print it out 10 times, though, because we're not like BART. We don't want to write it out by hand manually. So we're going to use a computer program to do it and do it uh, repetitively for us. So here we go. Let's write a for loop. For. Now, for loop has three components an initialization section, a condition, and an increment. This is where the initialized section, initialization is going to go, then the condition, and then lastly the increment. So let's start off with the initialization. We're going to need a variable. It's going to be an integer because that's how we're going to count. int, say i, and let's start off at uh, 1. And I want i to go to less than or equal to 10. And then, by the way, you don't need these spaces. And then I'm going to say um, i++. This is the change. In this case, it's an increment. It could also be a decrement. And let me tab that over. So here's my for loop. My for loop starts as 1, starts at 1. That's my initialization. Here's my condition. So I want i to go to less than or equal to 10. As long as i is less than or equal to 10, I want my loop to repeat. And then every single time my loop repeats, I'm adding 1 to i. So it's going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me compile this. We'll go ahead and run it. And this is what we see 10 times. Now, if I wanted to change that, I could. If I change the i less than or equal to 10 to just less than 10, it'll go i 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because when it hits 10, it won't print out because 10 is not less than 10. And then the loop will end, it will terminate. And so then in that case, 1 to less than 10 only goes 9 times. Now, frequently, people will write for loops like this i equals 0 i less than 10 so even though it starts at 0 it still goes 10 times 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so just be careful don't write down less than or equal to 10 because that will include 10 and that will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 which is actually 11 times and we only want this to repeat 10 times so there we go that's how we repeat that. And I can change the 10 to uh, uh, 50 or 60. And if I go 0 to less than 50, it will be 50 times. 
or I can go 1 to less than or equal to 50. That's also 50 times. It's, it's kind of up to you. The uh, standard is 0 to less than the number that you want to repeat. All right, so let's try another type of for loop. Let's try to print out the nursery rhyme 10 Little Monkeys. And so 10 Little Monkeys starts off with actually 10 monkeys. So because of that, I'm going to make my initialization start at 10. Initialization means beginning. And if I want to have 10 little monkeys, I start at 10. I know that I'm going to go down by 1 each time. So I'm going to say i minus minus instead of i plus plus. This is a decrement instead of an increment. And then my condition is, is uh, you know, the condition under which I repeat. In this case, I want to repeat as long as i is greater than 0. Because if it's 0, I want it to stop. I don't want to say 0 little monkeys. So let's change this statement here to blank little monkeys jumping on the bed. And before that blank, I'll just use the variable i and concatenate that to the string little monkeys jumping on the bed. So I'm going to compile this. And when we run this, it will do exactly, hopefully it will do exactly what we wish. There we go. Excellent. One little monkey is jumping on the bed. Ooh, you know what? That's a grammatical error. I don't like that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this a little more complicated. Um, or, you know what? I'll just make this go to greater than one. And then after that is over, I will just print out one little monkey jumping on the bed. That's one way to do it. Compile it, run it again. So by the way, BlueJ, with BlueJ you can right click and just click void main. There we go. Monkeys plural to one little monkey jumping on the bed. Excellent. What I could also do is use an if statement inside the for loop, but let's not go there. So that is uh, where now I'm using the i variable inside my output statement. Whereas before, I was just repeating the same statement. Um, there's no connection between boogers and raisins. Um, in this case, I'm using i to print out. I'm printing out i within my statement, and so it's changing from uh, 10 down to 1. Now, um, what if I change this to 11 and 2? Well, you're going to find out that in this case, I can't just change the values of the initialization variable and the condition because it changes i, and therefore it changes kind of what gets printed out here, right, guys? So in this case, I can't just, uh, even though it will repeat only 10 times, or in this case, 9 times because I'm I have this right here. Um, yeah, let's just keep that the same. One last thing. Let's print out the numbers 1 to 9 odd. So here we go. We have i equals 1. That's where I want to start, the initialization. And then I have my termination, my condition. So I want to repeat as long as i is less than 10 because 9 is the last number. And how do I want to repeat? Well, if I'm printing out the odd numbers, I can't just go by 1. I have to go by more than 1. So I can't just say i plus plus. I have to say i plus equals 2. What that does is that it increments i by 2 each time instead of just by 1. And I don't need that. And all I need is i. So I'll compile that. I'll run it. 13579. Let's review what we just did. We learned how to write for loops in different ways. We learned how to write uh, Bart's, uh, Bart Simpson's chalkboard quotes. And uh, we learned how to just repeat the same statement a certain number of times. We also learned how we can use a different initialization um, variable 
initial variable as well as a condition um, and uh, change that but still get the same number of repetitions that was for Bart's chalkboard quote um, with the 10 little monkeys thing uh, we started with 10 we went down to one and we decremented by one each time and we printed out 10 little monkeys and then nine little monkeys and then this last um, exercise we printed out the odd numbers one to nine because we wanted to start at one we initialized to one because we wanted to go to nine I said well uh, while I is less than 10 I'll repeat and obviously when it hits 10 or anything greater than 10 or higher or whatever whenever this condition here is false it will terminate the loop and instead of going by up by one each time since I wanted to go odds one three five seven nine I went up by two and so I incremented by two and here I just printed out I well that's it for for loops I hope you guys enjoy this presentation and I hope you check the while loop tutorial out as well bye